what, what, what the ladies talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A couple who racked up a $250 bill at a lavish restaurant in Australia and left without paying has been publicly shamed by its disgusted owner. Elmore's in the Valley in the outer perch suburb of Henley Brook claimed the couple tucked into a three-course meal, drank cocktails and wine before driving away without paying over the weekend. The general manager said that the pair arrived at around 5 p.m. and regularly stepped outside for cigarettes during the evening. He said they didn't eat their dessert. They just went outside again and again, but this time they took their belongings and they never came back. A receipt showed the couple ordered a $48 bottle of white wine, four cocktails at a cost of $18 each, a soup dish, an antipasti platter, Baramundi, pasta, and dessert. The general manager said, I'm disgusted. It's just not fair. You receive the service, you receive the product, you pay for it. The staff still need to be paid. The restaurant has since reported the matter to the police. Earlier, staff released CCTV images of the pair and tried to convince them to settle their bill before the matter was taken any further. He said the couple seemed to lure the restaurant into a false sense of security coming and going before finally leaving for good. The owner said he had been contacted by 12 other businesses claiming they too had been burned by the same couple. So this is a serial dine and dash couple. Tag team. Ripping people off left and right. So he said they ordered all that food and they didn't eat the dessert. I think that might have been the kicker right there because you would think somebody ordered dessert, they not going to leave, right? You order dessert, you got to eat your dessert. They played it all the way, man. They played it all the way through. That's a nice little mood, though, man, stopping for, for uh, breaks, going in and out the restaurant a few times before you finally leave. That way, the last time you leave, nobody's looking for it. Good little lick right there, man. We didn't think of that when I was coming up. I remember one time, and I say this with shame. One time we went inside of a pizza inn. Actually, it was Pizza Hut. And we ate until our hearts were content. And then one by one, we scurried off without pain. Shameful time in my life. Um, but I did it. And it was good. But here's the thing, man. These people keep getting away over and over and over again. Like, their pictures are on CCTV images all over Australia. Well, at least in that area. And they continue, they continue to get away with it. Their first crime was wearing those hideous outfits. Those, those outfits are hideous, man. You know, like, man. Seems like since they're not paying for anything, they could at least buy some decent clothes. On another note, I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, they actually paid the $250. They left it on the table and one of the employees or another customer stole the money off the table or maybe they got called for an emergency and somebody in the family was sick and they had to get out of there or maybe they saw a hitman inside of the restaurant and they not only had to get out of there but they had to get out of the country it's possible and as soon as they get settled into their new residence, they are going to pay the bill like the good, wholesome, law-abiding citizens they are. I mean, these are Aussies. On another note, 
I mean, the restaurant seemed kind of petty. It ain't like they ate the dessert. No more talking. What the ladies talking about?